What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for listening. And in this episode, man, leave it up to the TikTok investigators to find these two disgusting people. A truck driver that rudely disrespected this young man in this video and the female that assaulted him by spitting in his face. Now, for context and transparency, I did reach out to this young man. We tried to get a conversation going on in the background, and unfortunately, I wasn't able to make that happen. I'm still hoping to make that happen to find out what was the end result of this encounter with him. But for context, what seemed to have happened before the confrontation inside of the store, uh, the young man was in the parking lot parking. He's not a truck driver, but I think he was driving his car and the truck driver was backing out of a spot, not paying attention and almost ran into the guy. The guy then blew his horn a couple of times to let him know that, hey, I was behind you. You almost hit me. A confrontation outside ensued and it spilled inside of the store. Now, I'm not sure what kind of store this is, even if this was a truck stop. But the video V A V, that's Victor Adam Victor 999 underscore v a v that's the name of his TikTok. you can check out the video without my commentary and you guys can actually see this disgusting despicable acts of disrespect that these two so-called drivers have done no more wasting time let's get it Hold on. Yeah, go. Dude, do something go. about it then. Do you're something about it. Driver. You don't need to know what you're yeah. saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Go back to fucking right. Fuck, I'll see you outside. Do you even have your CDL? Shut up. No. Shut up. No. Shut up. No. What? You motherfucking whore. You motherfucking put your motherfucking hands on me. Did you see that bitch spit in my motherfucking face? Wow. Wow, drivers, I, I would like to know what you would have done in that situation right there. Like, this lady just literally let a whole bodily fluid come out of her mouth and, and made contact with the young man. That is crazy. And if that was me in the situation, and I hope that it's never me in that situation, yeah, she would have been laid out on the ground. She would have been laid out. But once you spit on me, that's, that's assault. That's assault right there. And with COVID going on also, that's crazy. Why would that lady even even do that and think it's okay to even do that? I mean, there's some crazy people out here in the world. And that's why I tend not to mess with people. And I just go on about my business. But this situation right here, again, that led up to it, they already had a confrontation outside, which again, spilled inside of the store. But for this lady to come back and do what she did, that, that wasn't even cool. But of course, the young man was recording at the time and he dropped the video on TikTok. Now, for TikTok, man, I, I tell you, I tell you, them TikTok investigators, them bad boys be on their job, man. They be on their job and they do a hell of a lot better job than the actual police detectives that's supposed to do the work would take the police detectives like months on end to solve a crime TikTok do it in a couple of minutes so if you recognize this too please reach out hello Brittany and brendan look at that all the information and verified all in one photo <laughs> yo yo you just spit on me you just spit on me. What are you gonna do? What are you no gonna way. do about it? You wanna no spit way. on me? You wanna spit no on me, bro? No, you you wanna fucking spit on me? Do something about it. Do something about it. Do something about it. Do something about it. So, spitting on your truck constitutes you spitting on him. Wow. Wow. I I'm not sure if that's an even assessment. Spitting truck or spitting on the ground constitute you to actually take a whole bodily fluid and project it towards this young man's face and then captain save a hole comes back around 
the guy coming more and more aggressive and stuff like that. Like I said, for me, if I was in that situation, yeah, both of them would have been laid down. It, it would have been more of a situational for me. You going to get down or you going to fucking lay down? Was the police called? I don't know. I don't know. That's why when I reached out to the young man, his uh, his English was kind of broken. We was talking to each other uh, in the text message, and for that text message kind of like didn't continue. I guess it was because maybe he didn't want to talk about it no more or whatever the case. But I'm I'm still hoping to get in contact with him to to at least see if there was an end result, if they was charged, was pressed, or anything like that. But like I said, the confrontation still continues. Yo, do something about it. You realize you're the one touching me right now. You realize you're the one touching me right now. Well, you're the one that keep coming into his face. You're the one that keep coming up to him. He has no choice but to put his hand out and push you away. You keep coming at him. I'll give it to this young man. He kept his, his calm, his demeanor and everything. He kept the camera rolling. It would have been ugly. I would have gave you what you wanted, bruh. You wanted to smoke. Go. I would have gave you all the fire you wanted, bruh. Hold on. What's going on, guys? I just want to stop the video right here right quick. If you guys made it this far into the video and you guys like what you're hearing, go ahead and hit that like button for me, bro. Hit that like button. It's free. It's free. If you made it this far into the video, man, make sure you hit that like button. It's right up under the video, man. And if you guys like more content like this, consider, okay? Y'all got two options. Well, one, but two options. You can either subscribe for the channel for more. And if you really want to rock with me and get the videos early, make sure you join. Join the channel, all right? Shout outs to all my members of the channel that rocks with your man. Thank you very much. Now let's get back to the show. Right? You realize you're the one touching Go. me. Right now. Let's go outside. Fuck you. Go. You want to spit Fuck on me twice? You. Go. Fuck you. Fucking idiot. Is that the only thing you know how to say? Yeah. Shut up. Get your CDL. Shut up. Learn proper driving etiquette. Cool. Driver's etiquette. That's crazy coming from you, lady, after you just spit on the dude. Driver's etiquette. What kind of etiquette was that? What, what's getting your CDL has to do with anything of you spitting on the young man? And what that got to do with the guy being rude and throwing the racist comments at this young man? That's crazy. Guys, I would like to know your thoughts about this and what you guys would do in this situation. Because again, for me, yeah, I would have brought that smoke, especially being spat at. And everything was cool up until the part she spat at him. Hey, All hell would have broke loose. The video got over 100K views, a lot of comments, and the TikTok investigators, they was able to find out who these two was. So if you recognize this dude, please reach out. Hello, Brittany and Brendan. Look at that. All the information and verified all in one photo. Wow. The driver, Brandon, and the young lady, Brittany, standing in front of their truck the company that, that they drive for, which is Atlas. Like I said before, man, these TikTok investigators, they don't waste no time, bro. I have an update on the Hawk Tua truckers. It looks like things are moving really fast here. I mean, they are a moving company, but it looks like Atlas has put out a statement saying that, yes, they've confirmed it is one of their employees. Oh, really? <laughs> I can't believe it. Yeah, confirmed. We now know. <laughs> They say they're going to begin an investigation. Okay, well. So Atlas put out a, a statement of what happened. We are aware of an incident potentially involving one of our Atlas professional van operator. Atlas and its agents have a commitment to safety of our customers and community. Integrity is what we promise to our customers. And we have a zero tolerance policy for this type of activity. We are taking this matter very seriously and actively working to address this situation though a thorough investigation. I wonder how long it's going to take them to actually come back and do something about that. 
whatever disciplinary actions that they're going to take against the truck driver. Now, I'm not sure if both of them works for the company, but in the statement, it just made it like the young man that works for the company, the Brandon guy, the young lady, I guess that probably might be his wife, significant other, girlfriend, or whatever the case, or maybe or maybe both of them drive for the company. We, we, we don't know yet. But as of right now, Atlas is looking into it. Again, the video got over 100,000 views and it's still going viral to this day. Drivers, I'm just curious to know, what would you do in that situation, man? Because for me, he wanted it, he would have got it, especially after after she assaulted me. She would have been on the ground. Nigga, you going to get down or you going to fucking lay down? Sometimes females just take the route of just doing things without thinking and without consequences and then get mad when a man turns around and retaliates on them and then they come back and be like oh you're not supposed to hit a woman you're not supposed to hit a woman no when a woman hits a man or when a woman spits on a man what you can do I, again words don't hurt you, we can stand there and go jib for jab all damn day but when you when you turn around and put them paws on a person Wrap this fat faggot up. Put him in a fucking dumpster. That right there changes everything. So drivers, I'm I'm curious to know what you would have done in that situation, man. I will let you guys know if there's any update if I am able to get a hold of this guy and to see if there was a an assault charge that was brought against the young lady. And we'll see if if anything should happen. When you got the TikTok investigators, they do a hell of a better job than, than the actual detectives out there to find out who these people are. So kudos to them.